The Megalodon may be the most famous sea monster in history, but it's not necessarily the scariest one to live in our planet's oceans. In fact, there's a whole bunch of scarier options out there if you want to have some deep sea nightmares. From a huge dinosaur fish to a tiny fish with big teeth. Here are 15 sea monsters that are scarier than Megalodon. <sighs> Number 15. Mosasaurus Let's be honest, anything that is going to be scarier than Megalodon will have to be an enormous creature. I mean, it has to be huge. Well, we have a pretty big aquatic dinosaur that could probably take on the Meg with no problem. Assuming, of course, that both were still around today, the Mosasaurus lived some 82 to 66 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period. And with a length of up to 58 feet and huge jaws capable of swinging back and forth to bite and digest its prey, you can bet that the Mosasaurus could take on the Megalodon on with some confidence. Like all living things, this dinosaur did have an unfortunate flaw in the form of its inability to smell. But its highly tuned vision more than made up for that in the predator scales. Basically, science tells us that this thing was a very formidable foe. Megalodon would be well matched. Of course, any fight between a Megalodon and a Mosasaurus would end up being a win for the Meg, as... Well, just about any and all fights would have been, but for us weak little humies, an experience with a Mosasaurus is basically suicide. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. <laughs> Number 14. The Fangtooth even though most of our planet's oceans have yet to be fully explored, we know one thing for certain. The deeper you get into the ocean water, the freakier looking the animals get. Believe me, you don't know fear until you're looking at deep sea ocean animals in the dark. The fang tooth is pretty much what it says on the box. It's a large headed, small bodied, big toothed fish that likes to live in the deep, dark confines of the ocean where nobody has to see it. Of course, being a small fish in the deep ocean means one thing. You are food for the big boys. But the fangtooth's dark color makes it almost impossible to see, and its terrifyingly sharp teeth make it an even more formidable foe for unsuspecting prey. While most animals in the deep ocean probably aren't all that scared of the fangtooth, I think I speak for us humans when I say, get this thing the hell away from me, thank you. Thankfully for those of us that will have continued nightmares about this fish, the fang tooth is almost blind, so it's highly unlikely one of these things would be able to chase you even if you did somehow manage to survive that deep under the ocean. But let's be honest, nobody wants to be bumping into this thing, on land or underwater. Number 13. Mariana Snailfish this one will be very strange for those of you who came to this video expecting 15 huge dinosaur-like animals. The Mariana snailfish is a tiny, tadpole-like fish that can eventually grow to around 11 inches in length, yet it's an incredibly formidable predator. Try and make sense of that one. The Mariana snailfish is, of course, one of the top predators along some regions of the Mariana Trench. These slimy little things apparently thrive by feeding on small crustaceans and a few larger predators, which no doubt is how they became known as such a worthy adversary for, well, about everybody. There's something deeply unsettling about the idea of a small tadpole-like animal that has just transformed itself into one of the most intimidating predators of the ocean, right? It's like if a snail suddenly became the biggest killer of humans. Those slimy little killers. The Mariana snailfish is one of the more unusual predators you'll find in the ocean. But I guess the Mariana Trench is a whole other world. Much of life on Earth would find it impossible to to survive in there, which, when you think about it, only makes it even scarier. Number 12. 
the Dumbo Octopus. Walt Disney would probably be extremely honored that his beloved Dumbo would be the inspiration behind this. The Dumbo Octopus, of course, is named such because... Well, you guys can see, right? It has those ear-like fins. What? I have to do all the work for you? Come on. Chances are you've never seen or even heard of these unusual octopi. And that's probably because they tend to live on the bottom of the sea in unbearably deep waters. Most Dumbo octopi species tend to be relatively small, often measuring around 8 inches in length. Although the largest specimen was recorded at 6 feet, so I guess the nightmare fuel is very, very real. What's perhaps most scary about these animals is just how little is known. Because they live in such uninhabitable conditions, for most other species, few have ever been studied. We just don't really know anything about them. We do know, however, that the Dumbo octopus can't fly. I did some deep dive research into that, and I'm sorry to say that when I edited the Wikipedia to make the unverified claim that the animal is capable of flight, it was immediately reverted back and lost. Locked. So sorry, I tried. Number 11. Benthic Comb Jelly One look at the benthic comb jelly, and you might be thinking, hey, that's a jellyfish. Well, you'd be very wrong. It's actually a benthic comb jelly, and you should know because I literally just told you twice. Please trust your friendly neighborhood voiceover artist. The benthic comb jelly is actually more closely related to plankton than jellyfish. While jellyfish have what are known as nematocysts, or stinging cells, these little guys do not. Instead, they have coloblasts, a series of sticky cells that trap their prey. And coupled with that, eight rows of cilia resembling the teeth of a fine-toothed comb. So basically, they aren't jellyfish, they're just weak. Weird. The benthic comb jelly also makes up a pretty massive proportion of the plankton population worldwide, making them one of the most popular species. Yet we also know a surprisingly little amount about their biological makeup. Try and make sense out of that. Much like the classic horror icons, the less we know about where they came from, the scarier sea creatures seem to be. We know basically nothing about the benthic comb jelly, and yet, I would rather continue living my life without having to look at another. Thank you in advance. Number 10. Benthicodin it may sound like a drug, but you definitely don't want to ingest this little guy. This strange, spaceship-looking kind of dude is a benthicodon, a genus that encompasses two species that we know of, the benthicodon hyalinus and the benthicodon pedunculatus. Applause for your voice-over guy is appreciated. Those names were not easy. The benthicodon is often confused for other species due to their strange shape, tiny size, and red coloring. But they are one of the most unique animals you could ever hope to see. Naturally, these animals tend to loiter in the deeper end of the water, often found near the sea floor of the Pacific and Arctic Oceans. All right, so once he's disturbed, which is now, but when they are found, well, they're kind of pretty weird to look at. These jellyfish-type animals are actually plankton and spend their entire lives as such. This may explain why they're so difficult to find out in the wild. And honestly, I don't think anybody is particularly eager to find one by accident. The benthicodon is one of the more unique deep sea animals, which is an achievement in itself, as most deep sea animals are already weird as hell. But this one, well, you don't want it swimming towards you in the darkest part of the ocean. Number 9. The Barrel Eye Fish Look, we all have skulls and skin for a reason. And the reason for that is pretty obvious. Nobody wants to see the inside of your head. It's gross. Unfortunately, the barrel eye fish didn't get the memo. Sorry, you have to see this. While the fish was discovered by a marine biologist in 1939, nobody realized 
that it had a transparent head until 2004, which just seems insane. You'd think that it would be hard to ignore such a unique and unsettling part of a fish's anatomy, but apparently so. This is one of the freakiest deep sea animals that we've ever covered on this channel. The eyes are enclosed within the transparent shield, sort of like the glass canopy of a jet fighter. Mostly thanks to those freaky barrel-shaped eyes embedded inside the head. Those ultra-sensitive eyes typically point directly upwards, but they can rotate rotate around inside the head, helping it locate and secure some food. When the fish eats, the eyes point straight forward. I told you it's really creepy. The barrel eye fish is one of those animals that just seems to have been an elaborate experiment cooked up by Mother Nature. Whether or not it was an experiment that should have gone ahead, well, that's a whole other matter. I'll leave that to Jeff Goldblum to decide. Number 8. The Goblin Shark If there was a list of deep sea animals you absolutely don't want to encounter, the goblin shark would easily be near the top. This thing is one of the most horrifying and frankly terrifying animals you will ever see, yet nobody really knows much about it. First off, the goblin shark obviously looks much less like a shark and more like a kind of prehistoric nightmare. At first glance, the goblin shark looks quite similar to many common shark species. This is not a big shark or a fast shark, and many Japanese fishermen have often compared it to ancient legendary demons, which should really tell you just how terrifying they are. But what's most fascinating about the goblin shark is that nobody really knows about its life cycle. How it mates, how it gives birth, all of that is essentially a mystery that nobody can answer. The largest recorded goblin shark was a whopping 12 feet long, and even experts aren't sure if they can grow bigger. Basically, not much is known about them, and that's horrifying. The likelihood of you accidentally stumbling upon a goblin shark is so low that it's practically impossible. These freaky-looking creatures tend to swim at a depth of up to 4,300 feet, meaning that no human would just stumble upon one without looking. And thank God, right? I'm not going to sleep for a week. Number 7. Telescope Octopus if you're one of those people that already find regular octopi weird, you're probably not going to like this one. The telescope octopus is not just another octopus, it's a kind of deep sea octopus. This means, as with all deep sea animals, it's horrifying. I apologize in advance. The telescope octopus is named for its unusual eyes, a pair of elongated tubular things that pop right out of the octopus's head. These eyes are positioned on moving, elongated stalks, which allow it to rotate its eyes. It's all pretty frightening and definitely not the kind of thing you want to be looking at when it's dark and late. If you're watching this in the dark and late at night, good luck sleeping tonight. These weird eyes apparently give the octopus an advantage in the deep sea conditions, allowing it to see both prey and predators thanks to the broad peripheral vision. That's some Terminator business. <laughs> Yikes. Octopus or not, there's something horrifying about the idea of having telescopic eyes that can see just about everything. There's basically no escape from an animal like that. Well, sweet dreams, late night viewers. Number 6. The Black Sea Devil it may sound like some kind of old-school horror movie, but the Black Sea Devil is just as horrifying as you'd expect it to be. Although by now, you've probably figured that out. This is the kind of fish that some people have nightmares about. The Black Sea Devil can grow as large as a baseball, although their size is almost irrelevant, honestly, because they just look so dang freaky. With their gaping mouth, razor-sharp teeth, a somewhat scared expression, and that famous lure that lights up to attract prey to an early unsuspected death, so in summary, they're pretty damn horrifying. They're like the mythical sirens, those beautiful mermaids who lured sailors to their deaths, only, you know, they're not beautiful. Actually, they're pretty horrifying to even look at. And even worse, their mouths are a 
inherently so large that they can eat surprisingly large prey. The black sea devil is one of the most horrifying deep sea fish you can imagine, if only because the idea of such a terrifying looking fish luring you to your death is pure nightmare fuel. I mean, that's the stuff that nightmares are truly made of. Well, that and demon Willy Wonka, he's going to hunt my dreams forever. Number 5. Leo Pleurodon. If there's one thing we can all agree on when it comes to dinosaurs, it's this. Their names are not voice over artist friendly. I mean, Leo Pleurodon? Why not just... That way we all know what we're talking about, right? Maybe we need something more specific. Big smelly dinosaur fish. Uh, needs work. The Leo Pleurodon existed some 160 to 155 million years ago and is particularly notable because of its nose. Unlike many animals that live under the sea, the Leo Pleurodon was one of the few that could actually smell things. That means it could smell its prey from a long distance, no matter the size or speed it may have been moving. At that time, the Leo Pleurodon's prey was other marine animals. But today, well, let's just say that if it were still around, you probably wouldn't want to go climbing into the water anytime soon. Make no mistake, the Leo Pleurodon was an apex predator in the same way that the Megalodon was. It just had an extra advantage in the form of that incredible nose, which made locating and capturing prey even easier. Which honestly is horrifying or genius, it really depends on which angle the inevitable movie takes. Number 4. Zombie Worm Sure, it would be a fascinating new kind of zombie movie if the living dead was a worm, but this is actually a little weirder than even that. We're talking about a million-year-old worm with a unique diet. Sadly, it has nothing to do with brains, but evolution will no doubt do its job. The Ocetix worm is a hundred million year old deep sea worm notable for eating whale bones, which is kind of horrifying all on its own, but these experts believe that the Ocetix worms have eaten huge chunks of the fossil record over that long period of existence. As a result, many fossils have been chewed up before they could fossilize, leading to gaps in our knowledge of prehistoric sea monsters. Knowledge which, by the way, would have helped us inform this video. So thanks, zombie worms. While I'm not going to publicly deem the Ocetix worm the enemy of scientists everywhere, I am going to imply it. Because legally the worms can't sue if you just imply something. Seriously, you have to be cautious about hundred million year old worms. They're a very quick to sue. Or eat your bones. Or both. Number 3. Deep Sea Dragonfish you may well know all about dragons and dragonflies, but what about the dragonfish? Even though few people actually know it exists, this is one of the most ferocious predators lurking in the deep blue sea. It's also one of the scariest, but you probably knew that by now. While it may look like a terrifying, gruesome fish, this is a surprisingly small species, measuring only around 6 inches on average. Despite this tiny size, the animal is identifiable by its huge fang-like teeth. Thanks to an ability to produce its own light, the dragonfish can lure its prey in before snapping it up with those large, powerful jaws. By the time it's being chewed up, the poor little prey doesn't even have time to work out what happened. As with many other deep sea animals, very little is known about the mating rituals of the dragonfish, which only makes it freakier. The deep sea dragonfish is a whole lot of mysteries wrapped up in one tiny little package. Of course, that one little little package is also one of the most terrifying looking things anywhere in the ocean. I don't think I'd have any interest in finding Nemo after seeing this. Number 2. The Frilled Shark You could ask a hundred people which shark is the most terrifying, and you could get a hundred different answers. Or you could get the same four answers over and over again, but you likely wouldn't be hearing the words frilled shark very often. Unless you were with a Shark Week fan, but then those guys can be kind of intense. The frilled shark is just as terrifying as a great white, if not more so. Imagine this. 25 rows of backwards-facing teeth, counting 300 in total. 
that's the mouth of the frilled shark, a weapon so well crafted that nothing can ever escape from its grasp. And the teeth are not the only brutally sharp things on this creature. We also have spines known as dermal denticles, which line the shark's mouths and are just another horrible creation of nature designed to cause pain. The frilled shark may not be one of the most well-known sharks, but it's one of the most dangerous. If you happen to have been snagged on the shark's teeth, chances are it's too late for you to free yourself. And isn't that everybody's worst fear when it comes to sharks? That and the Robert De Niro shark from Shark Tale. Number 1. Deep Sea Hatchetfish with a name like Hatchetfish, you can't really be expecting something innocent and pure and charming. These are yet another entry into our category of freaky deep sea animals that I just can't seem to unsee. And you know what? If I have to see it, you have to see it too. The hatchet fish can be found worldwide, but the largest population can be found in South and Central America. Of course, to find them, you'd have to dive to a depth of between 600 and 4,500 feet, which is probably not something that most people would be willing to do for one freaky looking fish. There's not much else that has to be said about it. Just look at its weird eyes, and I think you have a basic grasp on why this animal made our list. It is horrifying to look at. As if all of this is not nightmarish enough, the deep sea hatchetfish is capable of generating its own light. So maybe you don't see it coming right away, but once it lights itself up, you certainly will. Suddenly I'm glad that I chose not to dive. Which of these sea monsters do you think is the scariest? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.